Hello everyone, myself Simran from Team CloudyML. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we will be learning about another interview question on SQL asked by Walmart company. So let's begin. Here is the question which says, Write a query to output the names of those students whose best friends got offered a higher salary than them. Names must be ordered by the salary amount offered to the best friends. So let's understand this question with an in, uh, sample input. Okay, so this is an example wherein uh, for the problem statement, you will be given three tables. First is the students. The students table contains ID and name. ID is the ID or the identity number of the student and name is the student's name. For our sample input, we have four records in the student's table. Similarly, this is the friend's table, which has columns ID and friend ID. So ID is nothing but the ID of friends and uh, this 2, 3, 4, 1 indicates the ID of the best friends. Okay, so what does this mean is, then ID number one, your ID number one is Ashley and friend ID is two. So ID number two is Samantha. This means that Ashley's best friend is Samantha. Similarly, Samantha's best friend is Julia because three is written in front of ID two. Next, we have third table, which is the packages table. It gives information about the salary offers, offered to the students which means ID number one, which is Ashley. Ashley has got an offer of 15.20 salary. Similarly, Samantha has got 10.06 as the package. Okay, so what would be the output? Our output should be Samantha, Julia and Scarlett. Why? Because uh, these three best friends have got a higher salary than their best friend. How? Let's see. Uh, as of we saw that Ashley's best friend was Samantha, okay, and Samantha's best friend was Julia. The salary got by Ashley is 15.20, but the salary got by Samantha, who is Ashley's best friend, is 10.06. Similarly, Samantha's salary is 10.06, but Samantha's best friend, Julia, Julia's salary is 11.55. Which means 11.55 is greater than 10.06. So we will be printing Samantha. Next, Julia. Julia's salary is 11.55. But Scarlett, who is Julia's best friend, her salary is 12.12. Uh, 12, okay, which means uh, Scarlett's salary is greater than Julia's salary. Okay, so we will be printing Julia because Scarlett is Julia's best friend and her salary is more than Julia's salary. Similar is the case for Scarlett. Scarlett's best friend is index number one, who is Ashley. And Ashley's salary is 15.20, which is greater than 12.12. This means uh, Scarlett should also be printed. Okay, so I hope you've understood the problem statement. Let's move ahead at solving this question. We will be solving this problem statement using MySQL Workbench. So you can use any stable version of MySQL Workbench in your device. Okay, so first let's begin by creating a database. So create database. Let's give it name data3. Next use this database, data3. We okay, run this. This database already exists, so let's give it another name. Okay, so our database has been created. Let's now create the different tables. Okay, here is the code for creating the tables. So this is the first table, which is the student's table. It has ID and name. We have inserted four values into it. So let's uh, first run the commands for the student's table. Okay, 
let's see how our table looks like. So let's start from students. Okay, so this is our table. We have four records into it. Similarly, run the commands for creating the friends table. And insert the records into it. Records are inserted. Check it by using the select command. Okay, so this is the friends table which has been created. Lastly, create the packages table and check the values which have been inserted. Okay, so yes, all the three tables have been created. Now let's look at the query which we will be using to find the output. So the problem statement is that we need to find the students names whose best friends have got a higher salary than them and the name should be ordered by the salary amount offered to the best friends which means uh, the highest salary should uh, the student whose best friend has got the highest salary should be displayed first and then the next student who has got the lowest salary. Okay, so let's begin. I'll first write the query and then explain it to you. From here we'll be joining all the three tables based on ID. By joining the tables, we will be able to retrieve the necessary information. So students, this S we've used as the alias for the table students. Students S, join, friends F. Okay, F is the alias for, for the table friends. Using, we will be using the column ID. Okay, so using ID. Again, join packages. Uh, we will be creating two copies of packages because, you know, we need to refer the salary for the students as well as for their friends. Okay, so we will be making two copies of the table packages. So join packages P1. P1 is the first copy. P1 on. Now here we will be specifying the col uh, common columns between first students and packages 1. Between students and packages 1. Yes, this is students and packages. The common column is ID. So we will be uh, using that column. Okay. So S dot id equals p1 dot id next join packages to p2 this is the second copy on now we need to join it using the friend so friend dot id equal p2 dot id friend underscore id I'm sorry because friend underscore id gives us the information that who is whose best friend. This is friend.id. Okay, so we have joined all the tables, but we want only those students whose best friends have got higher salary than them. So uh, the friends information is there by using joining packages with p2. So we will be doing p2 dot salary is greater than p1 dot salary because p1 is referenced with uh, the students table and p2 has been joined with the uh, friends table okay so p2 dot salary is greater than p1 dot salary order by now we need to order by the friends salary so we will be using p2 dot salary now let's run this command and let's see what is the output So yes, we've got the correct answer, which was Samantha, Julia, and Scarlett. Here, Samantha, Julia, and Scarlett. Okay, so we've, we've just, let's see like what uh, output does this joined table gives us. Okay, so we'll understand that how it has retrieved the data. We'll see select star from this joined table. Okay, let's see what what all information it has joined from the three tables. 
So yes, we can see this is the resulting table after joining. We have the ID, the name, friend ID, again the ID, then salary. This one, this one is the P1 part, okay? And this is the P2 part. We can see your see, salary 15.2 and your salary is 12.12, which means this is the friends well apart and this is the students well apart. This is P1, this is P2. So as you can see here, 15.2 is obviously greater than 12.12. Hence, Scarlet is a part of our output. But here we can see 10.06 is not greater than 15.2. Hence, Ashley was not printed in the output. Again, 11.55 is greater than 10.06, hence Samantha was printed. Similarly, 12.12 is greater than 11.55, hence Julia was also printed. Okay, and all this has been uh, printed in the uh, ascending order, like the lowest salary has been printed first and then the order has been increased. Okay, so I hope you've understood this solution. Uh, do check out the video once again. Uh, code this on your own so that you understand it more clearly. And if you found out this video helpful, do like it. Share it with your friends so that it can be helpful to them also. And do subscribe the channel for such more videos. Thank you.